Tonight we're here to celebrate with the community of Wichita opportunities for parents and students and teachers to talk about freedom. To talk about the importance of reducing regulations and mandates that inhibit the ability for people in society to really fully experience the opportunities that are uh, given to us by the Declaration of Independence, the Constitution, and the Bill of Rights. This event uh, featuring uh, FCC Commissioner Ajit Pai is about engagement. It's about engaging kids, students who are, who are studying these ideas about what a marketplace of ideas really means. You know, for young people, the internet has become something uh, like a fish swimming in water. Or they don't even know um, what has made that thing possible. But you take a step back and you recognize that there's a whole underlying infrastructure, the rule of law, a lot of things that have to come together to make that thing that we all take for granted possible. That's what we're doing uh, as part of this, uh, this program in conjunction with the Fred and Mary Koch Foundation. They contacted me um, as a student that's close to the Wichita area and asked me if I would accept the honor of introducing um, Ajit Pai and I accept it obviously and that's why I'm here. Free speech I think is omnipotent among students. Um, we all love our free speech. That's one of our favorite rights to talk about. I came to this event to learn more about how to debate. I like to argue and I would like to turn it more into something that would be helpful to the community and they were talking about regulating the internet and I think that's a really cool subject to learn about. As always the internet is kind of an iffy thing and you know sometimes it can get out of control if the government steps in too far or doesn't do enough or just does the right amount we should still know about it. You know everyone should know about it in this country and I think it's a big deal. This is an interesting topic that we each have to pay attention about it to know what our country is doing. I'm interested about something that's government will regulate the internet or not and something about the Bill of Rights. Anything is, anything is funny because the, all the things is quite different with China. America is a very, very fantastic country that everything is good, people is kind, you could choose your lessons in the school like that. I tend to want to be wise stewards of the taxpayers' dollars, I and mean, that's ultimately uh, the bottom line for any public servant, I would think. Commissioner Pai has been a staunch opponent of net neutrality. I've never heard anybody tell me that they have an ISP that's blocked their access to content. What they do tell me is that they want faster internet speeds, they want better prices, they want more choices. In short, they want the benefits of competition. The free market works in a powerful way when the government steps back and lets consumers tell corporations what it is that they want. Every dollar we spend maintaining that copper line that nobody, hardly anybody uses is a dollar that can't be spent on fiber. And so one of the first things I proposed when I became a commissioner was, let's modernize our rules. Let's make sure that every American has the ability to see fiber laid to the doorstep of his or her home. But there are a lot of entrenched interests that simply don't want to do that. One of the reasons why it's great to be here at the Bill of Rights Institute is in part because I grew up in a small town in Kansas and it's always great to be home. But the other reason is that I had a chance to talk about my views on the importance of the internet to innovation, to entrepreneurship, uh, to digital opportunity. And that's something that I think uh, the students uh, hopefully found interesting since they increasingly rely on technology in their everyday lives. I want to thank the Bill of Rights Institute tremendously for the uh, invitation to come deliver this annual lecture. Uh, one of the things that I have been very impressed by is the fact that they are continuing to advocate uh, for the, the freedom to pursue one's own dreams. Uh, the rights to life, liberty, the pursuit of happiness are so fundamental to how this country was built and how it's thrived. And they are carrying those values into the digital age. And that's something that's so critical for policymakers and regulators in Washington, D.C., uh, as well as students uh, who are the next generation of leaders. I'd like to thank the Bill of Rights Institute for hosting this special occasion. Thank you, Bill of Rights, hosting the event. Thank you. I'm really grateful for their efforts, and uh, it's been a privilege uh, to be able to work with them.